how to use google merchants hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you about google merchants and how you can get started with it so having said that let's just jump into it so first of all let me just tell you that google merchant is basically for merchants or for companies or you know sellers who have a very large business and they already have their things running so you need to have a big business to you know start using this app but we're just going to go over it to let you know how it works so first off you're gonna go ahead and click on get started and once you do that it'll take you over to this part of the website where we can go ahead and get started so over here as you can see email address over here we can add more details about us you know connect with customers and stuff like that and over here we have to enter in our business name so it can be anything just enter in your business name now over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options let's go ahead and create a business with this name click on next and over here they basically ask you to choose how your business service customers so your business is a restaurant bar or cafe customers can purchase product through your website customers can visit your business in person your business makes visits to customers all right so we can go ahead and choose whichever one you want it all depends on you but i'm going to choose the second one over here i'm going to click on it and click on next and then over here you have to add in your website click on next and then you have to enter in the country where your business is registered click on next stay in the know want to update recommendation from google you can go ahead and skip this if you want i'm going to click on no and click on next and then i'm going to click on agree to the terms and services and click on next and boom you're good to go now let's go ahead and finish up the remaining steps click on next and here we go so over here you get with the free listings as well you get your performance you get your growth and stuff like that it all depends on you you can go ahead and use this if you want but i'm going to go ahead and uh, you know skip this for now i'm going to click on later so over here this is how it looks like you know this is your uh, dashboard and stuff over here you have a bunch of different options if you click on three bars you get only these three options so over here first we are over here google merchant center overview this is how it looks like we have our settings tools over here we have our you know messages over here our help and notifications over here so first things first we have to get started with the free listings let's go ahead and get started with it or we can explore some options as well all right go to the account issues and let's go ahead and do it because we have three issues remaining that cause the product to not show up so let's go ahead and deal with that one as well so over here website has not been claimed we have to add in more contact information add in a phone number and ads link over here that's going to help us but first things first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into the product section over here and here we're going to add different products into the merchant center simply click on add products and it'll open up a website where you just simply have to get started so over here country of sale language and all the other stuff so country of sales united states okay language is going to be english destination free listing your website we have to verify that first then we can move on then we have the product identifiers basically you know if they have like a gtin upc jan isbn number basically a, a product identifier this is the basic version if you click on advanced we get a little bit more options over here and then you have the product data basically you have the id sku title brand description landing page of it image link and stuff like that and then we have to enter in the price the availability and all of the good stuff so let's go ahead and do this so first up we don't have to do this i mean i can't do this for now so we'll just leave that for now then the gtin numbers all right so it can be anything over here if i open up this is a sheet well it's not technically a sheet it was supposed to be a sheet but it opened up like this like it it was google's own sheet it was supposed to tell me how it looks like so basically what it is it's, it basically generates a number a sheet where we have categories we have you know the designated categories where it is used you know the appliances and stuff like that it's over here but you know it got messed up so i'm just showing you this for a reference so basically over here i'm in the uh, help center over here so if i search for like you know id um or since we're over here trying to find the sku number it should be over here in the gtin here we go so if i click over here this is what it would look like all right so this is the format text is going to be this all right the xml file is going to be this one gtin number it's basically going to be a group of numbers from ranging between 8 12 13 or 14 depending upon which country you stay it can be upc ean jan isbn you know it all depends on where your business resides this is what it looks like you gotta add that so i'm just gonna copy this for now and i'm just gonna add this over here once you've done that we'll just go over here the id or the sku i'm just gonna go ahead and add that over here let's just go ahead and add the title we'll just say like uh fountain pen or something like that you know it all depends on you it can be anything i'm just giving you an example and it can be brand let's just say fountain is the brand all right and the description 
keep it short you know not too long not too you know hectic i'm just gonna write this is a nice pen i'm not gonna be a good salesman i uh, i assure you then you gotta add the link to your landing page so that people can go over there and view it and then you have to enter in the image link all right so this is what i was talking about this is what it would look like if it were a sheet uh everything will be categorized over there but you know since it's not so that's why it's asking us these questions and uh let's just go ahead and do that let me just search for a pen over here and just go to images and just you know choose any pen i want these are all like products over here all right here we go let's just go ahead and copy the image address and let's go ahead and paste it over here once we've done that let's just go ahead and add in a price let's just say ten dollars which is pretty expensive for a pen you know what i mean and then the detail of the product over here the condition is going to be new you can add anything you want refurbished or used it depends upon it, what you're selling so for now let's just say it's used i have an apparel and variant products you can turn it that on to have like a more detailed version of your product like it can be of different color different texture and stuff like that but for now i'm going to leave it off and the condition is going to be new and once you've done that we'll just click on save and boom we're good to go but as you can see we have to add a landing page link here so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy this link maybe it'll work you know just for the example over here save there we go boom all right so this image is missing value is missing and mismatched domain all right so guess i gotta go ahead and add in my domain as well which i don't have so i'll just write anything over here com slash books site this was my original website and then i'll just simply download the image and just upload it myself you know let's go ahead and click on browse and just select the image click on open and wait for it to upload it's processing and once it's done we can go ahead and move on oh, okay here we go let's go ahead and see if everything works all right so unclaimed website you know missing value for the shipping which value is missing i don't understand missing value tax where is it but you get the point right once you've done this just simply click on save and your product will be safe and you can move on so we'll just go ahead and set up our uh, shipping and set up our taxes for now so this is the uh, shipping one so we'll just say ups country united states usd click on next yeah we'll go with that one just select your shipping method over here how do you want to determine delivery times or the service set a range delivery date or you know just show customs you know show customs over here as well and after that you should be able to go but you got to link your sales and orders account over here as well so it all depends on you and once you've done that just simply click on next and you're good to go and be arrived on shipping costs which will you have to pay add in your credit cards and you know debit card or whatever payment method you use to pay your taxes then over here you have to set up your taxes over here let's go ahead and you can turn on all of these if you want it all depends on you once you're done just simply click on save and your settings will have save if we come over here as you can see it's gone so make sure you have a website and make sure you have your shipping method set up once these two things are set up you're good to go and your products is ready to be sold on the google merchant yeah so let's just assume that we've done that and let's go back to the uh, merchant center yeah and once we do that over here as you can see this is how it would look like you know our products are going to be over here their diagnostics are going to be over here and then the performance is going to be over here basically you know the sales report the rejects the clicks the impressions and stuff like that everything is going to be here and you will see how it is working as i said you have to link your google ads account over here so that you can promote your business your products and get more sales everything is very simple you don't need to have like a very uh, knowledge about the software just follow along you know answer these questions set it up however you want and then boom you're good to go so these were the things you needed to know about google merchant and how you can set up your account so i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye